White Christmas where you are. Some of the detail coming up. Been a white Sunday though in northwest England. This view from Saif in Cheadle from earlier today of the snow covered there. And in fact, Met Office severe weather warnings are still in force for snow showers, especially across parts of northwest England and southwest Scotland through the night. Now, why is the northwest bearing the brunt at the moment? This area of low pressure across Scotland around that strong northwesterly winds blowing in those snow showers in the northwest. And as I mentioned, there are more to come. And indeed, during Monday, there'll be some of these in Scotland, some in northwest England, especially into Cumbria. Elsewhere, actually, plenty of fine but cold weather with some weak wintry sunshine, though thicker clouds starting to move into the south with outbreaks of cold rain. So across southwest England at this stage, 3 o'clock, cloud increasing, some rain along the south coast, say from Devon East, cloud increasing in southeast Wales, whereas elsewhere it should be fine with a good deal of sunshine throughout the day, any wintry showers tending to ease away, as they will also do in Northern Ireland, and a lighter wind than we've got it at the moment, still feeling cold though at 2 or 3 degrees. Now across Scotland there'll be some of these snow showers around, there may be of uh, rain or sleet on the coast, but snow inland, they catch one of these, a few more centimetres on the ground is possible across northern England. Still some of these showers coming into Cumbria. Elsewhere, largely fine and dry. Fine too across the Midlands and East Anglia. The further south you are, though, some of this rain pushing in. And it will feed further north during Monday evening and Monday night. And it runs into colder air. So a risk of again of getting some snow. So the Chilterns into the East Midlands, that's the possibility. Then as it starts to pull away and it turns colder, we we'll get a risk of widespread ice as we go into the Tuesday morning commute because yet again it is going to be another sub-zero night with a widespread and in places hard frost. Now as the week goes on, staying cold generally yes, but there will be some slightly less cold air trying to move into southern parts of Britain, especially in the southwest. So we'll take Tuesday now, and this area of low pressure still close by, still with some wintry showers around in the north, and a scattering of showers during the day as well down the western side. We'll clear away that damp weather from the southeast quite quickly in the morning, but uh, there may well be some fog around forming behind it that could well be slow to clear during the day. Those temperatures again at best just a couple of degrees above freezing. Well, let's go to Wednesday now, and on Wednesday, well, there's not a great deal going on, but we are going to get a developing area of low pressure just approaching the southwest of the UK. And as that happens, we'll see more in the way of cloud and showers starting to move in, but slightly milder air with that. So predominantly rain from this, still though a few wintry showers in the north. Now it zips through on Wednesday night into Thursday, Christmas Eve. And then later we'll see another area of low pressure getting closer to the southeast on, uh, later on Christmas Eve. So on Christmas Eve itself, again, there could well be some showers around. Uh, southern and eastern parts could see some of those. Predominantly rain, though, the further inland you are, could be some snow mixing with this, especially over higher ground. For Christmas Day, I get a lot of uncertainty. This could well have zipped away, leaving plenty of fine weather around on Christmas Day. Just some wintry showers across the north, mainly over the hills in Scotland. Any showers elsewhere of rain or sleet, southern and western coast seem most prone. But again, there's a lot to play for. So you will, if you're interested in that, keep checking the forecast online as we go through the next few days. That's it from me. I'll hand you back to that Christmas dinner and those sprouts.